Alright guys, how's it going? So I thought I would put a little bit of attention on a new add-on called Box Select X-Ray. Now, in its own right, this add-on's pretty damn cool, but it's kind of stirred up a conversation among the developers in the community, and it's pretty interesting to follow along. So I recommend you check out the Blender Artist thread, I'll put all the links in the description down below, and there's a couple of hidden gems in the posts. But we'll take a look at the Box Select X-Ray add-on, and we'll quickly jump into Blender, and of course, we'll spin the default cube of mystery, Ooh. and I'll tab into edit mode, and just to give you an example, I'll press 1 to go into front orthographic, I'm on box select here at the moment, and I'll select these points. Now, if you come from another 3D application, you would expect us to select the points at the back, but Blender's workflow is kind of different, and it only selects the front facing polygons, or the points or edges. So I'll go back into front orthographics, and the way you generally work around this is, you'll go into wireframe, and then you'll do your selection. And that's perfectly fine. But with the new box select x-ray tool, if I come up to the selection tools, you can see it here. Select box x-ray. And essentially what this does, is it kind of automates the process for you. So you can see when I select the box, it actually puts it into x-ray, and it means I can select all the points. And that is pretty much the basics of the add-on. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I highly recommend you check out the Blender Artist thread. This is kind of evolving continually in front of your eyes, and it's a pretty damn good tool. Remember, support your third-party developers. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Thanks.